Imagine a missile that never runs out of fuel, a weapon that can fly around the world for days, weaving around enemy radars, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. A missile so dangerous, even its test site has been linked to mysterious radiation leaks. This is Russia's Brubesnik. NATO calls it the Skyfall. The world's first nuclear-powered cruise missile. Russia says it tested the missile over 14,000 kilometers for 15 hours, which is mind-boggling. It's not just a missile, it's a symbol of Russia's obsession with unstoppable retaliation, a weapon built to haunt the sky itself. To understand Buravasnik, we must go back to the 1950s, the height of the Cold War. The United States launched Project Pluto, a secret plan to build a nuclear-powered ramjet missile called SLAM, that is supersonic low-altitude missile. It was designed to fly at Mark 3, just above treetop level, carrying 16 hydrogen bombs. Powered by a miniature nuclear reactor, SLAM could stay airborne for weeks, launching warheads across continents, a flying apocalypse. Between 1957 and 1964, the US developed two nuclear ramjet engines at the Nevada test site called Tori 2A and Tori 2C. In May 1961, Tori 2A ran for a few seconds, proving the concept could work. In 1964, the Tori 2C ran successfully for five minutes at full power on a railroad mounted test stand, an extraordinary technical feat at the time. So the nuclear ramjet engine worked. It produced real thrust, powered purely by a nuclear reactor. No chemical fuel needed. Even though the concept was successful, no missile fitted with this nuclear ramjet engine was ever tested. Project Pluto was too terrifying even for its creators. The radiation trail it would leave behind during the flight would contaminate everything below. Once a missile is launched, there will be no safe way to recall it. In 1964, after eight years of testing, Project Pluto was crapped. Too risky, too dirty, and too insane. Fast forward half a century. In 2018, President Putin shocked the world announcing a new generation of invincible weapons. Among hypersonic gliders and underwater drones, one stood out, a nuclear-powered cruise missile codename Bravesnik, meaning the storm petrel, the bird that heralds a storm. Unlike traditional cruise missiles limited by fuel, the Bravesnik carries a miniature nuclear reactor as its engines. It can fly at subsonic speeds for thousands of kilometers, loiter over oceans, circle the planet, and strike from unexpected directions, even the South Pole, bypassing missile shields designed to stop ICBMs from the north. Russia believes Western missile defense systems like the Aegis, Thad, and the GMD threaten its deterrence power. ICBMs follow predictable arcs and can be tracked by satellites. But a nuclear-powered cruise missile can fly under radar, hugging terrain, changing direction mid-flight, and strike from unexpected angles. It is built to be unstoppable and destruction guaranteed. Can the Borovesnik change warfare? In theory, yes. If Borovesnik becomes fully operational, it could bypass every known missile defense system. It could stay airborne for days, even weeks, waiting for satellite signals to choose its next target. It could make the idea of limited nuclear war almost impossible. However, experts remain skeptical. Miniaturizing a safe, lightweight nuclear reactor for a missile is an enormous challenge. Controlling the radiation and heat output in such a confined space is nearly impossible with current materials. In fact, one of its reported tests in Yonoska in 2019 ended in a deadly accident, triggering a radiation spike detected across Northern Europe. The Borovesnik, it seems, is also dangerous to its crew as to its enemies. Can the missile be intercepted? 
Technically yes, but not so easy. The Burra Vesnik is a cruise missile that will fly low and slow, hiding from radar detection. The Burra Vesnik missile flies erratically over oceans for days. That makes detection extremely difficult. But if the missile is spotted early by satellites by its heat signatures or airborne AVAX radar, it could be shot down. The problem is, by the time you detect it, it's already too close. A nuclear-powered missile sounds terrifying not just for its enemies but for the planet. Every flight would leave a trail of radioactive particles in the atmosphere. Even if one missile would crash, its reactor would contaminate thousands of square kilometers of land and sea. Shooting down one such missile will also lead to nuclear contamination. The Burovesnik is a cruise missile and does not carry a nuclear payload. So even if it is used in a conventional war, it would be an environmental disaster. Even during peacetime tests, the risk of leaks is enormous. In a world struggling with climate change and nuclear waste, the idea of hundreds of flying reactors circling the skies feel like a step backward into the Cold War's darkest days. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.